All right, exercise 17, our job to find the area of the shaded figure. Now, your textbook gave you this, and uh, whoa, in a class where we're telling you not to assume things, I don't know. I'm, well, I would like to at least draw that to make it a little more definitive, put in if I had those right angles in there, because then it makes sense. See, we're really using the area addition postulate that we learned way back in the first section. So let's go to work here. Well, if this is a square, then I could imagine that what I'm removing from that square is two semicircles. So all I've got to do is say the shaded area is the area of the square. Take away the area of a circle. So pretty straightforward here. Let's substitute. I know the area of a square, a square is side squared, and uh, pi r squared is the area of a circle. When I do my substitution, remember the side of the square is 6, but the radius of the circle is 3. Um, when you are squaring this, we are going to have common units here. Of course, we've got 30, uh, 36 square meters, and I'm going to subtract from that 9 pi square meters. And there we go, and let's just, I suppose we could work that out with our calculator, and we'll come up with about 7 and 7 tenths square meters. All right, let's find the area of this shaded, well, the green shaded figure, which looks to be a circle with a triangle removed. So um, I guess we got to decide what kind of triangle it is. We've got clearly passing through the center, so we've got the radius all over here, and therefore we have a diameter here. We've got these convenient right angles, so it tells me that we're looking at a 45, 45, 90 triangle. And whether I'm looking at it that way, and or this way, that is, or whether I'm looking at the we triangle over here. Either case, I've got 45, 45, 90 triangles all over the place. So, um, well, let's use this triangle to find the radius because I would take, I know the ratio 1, 1, radical 2. Dividing 5, uh, dividing 5 by radical 2, I'm going to get 5 halves radical 2. And if I'm saying 5, 5, the diameter, that is using the overall or large triangle, 5, 5, 5 radical 2 for the diameter. So let me write those down, jot those down. Again, 5 halves radical 2, or 2 and a half radical 2 for the radius, and twice that, or 5 radical 2 for the diameter. That's pretty much what we need to set this up. So let's get going. Area of a circle minus area of a triangle. Okay. And there we know the formulas, pi r squared minus one-half base times height. In this case, we've said that the radius, again, five halves radical two, two and a half, or two and a half radical two, we're squaring that quantity. And base times height, um, right triangle, the base and height are the legs. So there's your five, and there's your other, oops, not, not you. Your other five is right there, right here. So, ah, keep missing. Well, anyways, five, and 5. So uh, base and height are both 5, so it's 25 halves or 12 and a half. Now, I'm a little bit of an explanation off the side here, a little sidebar. Remember, when we square this radius, we square 2 and a half, um, which is 6 and a quarter. And if you didn't know that, you probably remember your multiple, uh, you remember 25 squared is 625. That's how, that may be a handy way to remember this. Uh, radical 2 squared is, of course, 2. So I'm going to multi uh, multiply these two, and I'm going to have, looks like, 12 and a half. So all that, it's going to be 12 and a half pi for the area of the circle. And, of course, I'm subtracting from that the mixed number, 12 and a half. So let's pull out the calculator. Oops, 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 makes no cheating. Let's go through it. 12.5 times pi equals, subtract from that, 
12.5 equals and rounding to the nearest tenth that would be 26 and 8 tenths square inches and there you have it okay here comes another fun one we're finding the area of the shaded figure um well i threw this in let's say it's a square. Now I suppose we could prove it if we if we know these are all points of tangency all the way around. But um, well, the textbook gives us this, gives us this problem. We'll say, all right, we're going with it. Um, we've got the square with a bunch of circles cut out of it, and we're still sticking to that postulate 26 from the very beginning of this section. This is exercise 28. So, well, take the area of the square, and we're going to subtract. Uh, the area of four circles. Um, and remember, each of these circles, um, well, uh, each circle has a radius of five, um, which would make sense because it has to be one fourth. I mean, you could count one, two, three, four of them to span any of the sides of the square. So um, let's just do the substitution side squared minus four pi r squared. Um, in this case, the side is of, um, well, side squared is 20, so 20 squares, 400 square inches, and I'm going to subtract from that 4 times pi r squared, showing all the substitutions in there. And of course, uh, 5 squared is 25, um, that's going to be 100 pi. You know, and I'm going to leave it in that form. If you, uh, um, we could do this in our head really quick, you know, 100 pi is about 314, so clearly the shaded area is going to be less than 100 square inches. Okay, here's another um, unusual area for us to find, and um, this one actually has a name, although um, analyst is the name, but this is actually half the analyst, um, if you will, a flat donut. And we're going to say this is exercise number 29, and again it's going to be a subtraction exercise. It looks to me pretty obvious that we're going to take this, which would be a semicircle, and subtract that inner semicircle, and we'll be done. And let's just try setting up this formula. So the area of circle 1 minus the area of circle 2, all over 2, to account for the fact we only have half of one of these. And now, typically, what we'll, we'll use R, capital R, to refer to the outer or the larger mm, r the big r for the big diameter or sorry radius and the we r is the we radius so um let's see what we can do with this formula before we do anything we can say you know we've got a pi in both of these let's factor the pi out now this formula right here this is actually the formula if you take a and if you double it if you take away that 2 in the denominator. That's the formula for the area of an analyst. So let's see what else we can do. We'll substitute in here. Oh, and then it's time for the calculator. Ta-da! We'll take 34 squared. Then we're going to subtract from that. Now watch out, make sure your calculator understands order of operations. Please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. Let's see if this one does. Minus 17x squared equals, yes, it does. So that looks pretty good, and I'm going to divide that by 2. So I've got 433 and a half, and I'm going to multiply it times good old-fashioned pi Wow, that's a big number. So it's looking like, and what are my square units? 1,361 and 9 tenths square centimeters. Oh, I guess I had to fill that in. <laughs> hey, let's get, get come back here. Uh, 1361.9. And we're going to call it okay. done. one last of these area addition, or should I say area of subtraction problems. And this time we've got a circle with some kind of a figure in here. And you know from, from those congruent marks and these congruent marks that this is indeed a kite. 
This kite, however, is um, inscribed in a circle. The only way that can be is we must have right angles up. We must have right angles at this vertex and this vertex. So this one is pretty straightforward. I drew this line in. This wasn't, wasn't in your textbook. This is number 31, by the way. Um, I drew these in because if we, you know, with a little bit of trouble, we could find this. And then we have half the product of the diagonals and we could find the area of the kite. But um, that's more trouble than we need. We're going to stick to triangles. First off, we need to exercise the 3, 4, 5, Pythagorean triple just to find the diameter. The hypotenuse of either of those right triangles is, of course, the diameter of the circle, and now we're home free. So area of circle minus two triangles. Again, we could say um, kite, but you know, why bother? We've got it easy this way. So pi r squared, circle, uh, two times one half base times height. Well, last time I checked, 2 times 1 half is just 1. So I'm just simplifying them, dividing out the 2 and the 1 half. So it's pi r squared minus base times height. Um, remember that r, we know, is 5. For the, each triangle, the base and the height are, th are 4 and 3, respectively. So let's we'll just substitute them in there. And there we go. I'll let you do the arithmetic on this one. Again, remember, you're squaring 5 halves. You know, you could do it. You could say that's 25 fourths. That's a lot of trouble. Or you could just say 5 halves, uh, 2 and a half. And you remember what we did last time. Um, you, re you, re you remember 2 and a half or 25 squared is 625. And well you, well, you guys work it out from here. And remember, your answer is in square meters. Done.